why do actually <laughs> I've got five projects in, in CTV at the moment. I have no idea why they're there except that there's nowhere to go with them, you know. Right. And they're they're nothing like any of them. So so what do you have at CTV? Not just a bunch of ideas. Before they get to a first draft, or before they oh, get no, to a pilot, well, or it's just a concept. We, learned. we just write. I would write the script now. It's, it's worth me to just write the script so that the I so that the discussion is concrete. Right. No pitch like. Oh, you know, you go in and say, oh, I got this great idea about a mountain climber. You just go, well, here's the script. This is what we thought we'd be. So we're having to, at least having the discussion about it. Now, when we start, I started doing that a while ago, and it was unusual. And they thought, well, you just wrote this on spec? I thought, well, it was worth it to me to make, you know, to have this concrete discussion so we're not kidding each other. And then since that, that time, the last couple of years, more and more people are doing that, apparently. Even in the States, they're just going, this is it. Not the bullshit that I'm going to talk to you about, you know, I'm going to make it up. I once, uh, actually this is Wonderland, I got, I did that. I came up with that idea at a pitch meeting about something else, you know, I was talking about that. But that's, George, this is Wonderland is a little different because it's for a public broadcast. Well, it was a public broadcast. Was it a was a public broadcast. broadcast. This is 2012. <laughs> it was a public broadcast. It was a public broadcast. Instead of being a sort of a bipolar place that is now. Right. Um, but that is a public broadcaster, which is under, in theory, under a different set of uh, mandates or ideas. But let's just talk about the commercial broadcasters mm -hmm. a bit more. And first, I want to know why we aren't pushing back against the kind of suppression and driving. Well, I'd love formula. them to do that. I'd love producers to get but, together and say that. How it usually works is like, uh, and you, you, they, uh, so I have a friend who was working on a show, so he writes uh, an outline. The outline goes to the showrunner, the showrunner gives him notes. In the meantime, it's gone off to all the producers and the people at the network. He gets a whole bunch of notes from the network. He gives, gives them to the writer. The writer's got to incorporate all those things in the outline. I have a problem with outlines, first of all. I mean, that's my problem. I start right there, let alone all that stuff coming back at you. Because when you have an outline that goes from beginning right to the end, who wants to write the script to do that, you know? I'm bored already. It's like the, the process of discovery is gone, you know? So you have a basic notion of what the thing is going to be, but then you write it. You actually write it. So I'm in, I'm right outside the kind of like the, the way it works right away. So, it, it, and when we're working at TMN, I was working at TMN, you said, we don't do that. Um, big, that was the first one. We almost didn't go to TMN because, they said, well, here's how we do it. We, we have outlines, we get everything. All 13 episodes will be outlined first. And then we'll give you notes on that, and then you go to script. And I said, well, do you want the, do you want the best way I do it, or the way you want me to do it? <laughs> it seems to me that you want the best work, or you want just the way you like to work? And they actually heard that at TMN. They said, oh, no, we want your best work. And I said, well, the best work is not that. We'll go write the script. I mean, we'll have, uh, internally, the writers and I will have our own internal outline, which is not fit for anyone else to look at it, it's sloppy and it's full of questions and stuff, but it's got a very sick day, and we'll deliver you a script, and then we'll talk about it. And I said, in the long run, it will save you a lot of work. You know, we won't have to go through all those things. We'll just give it to you, and you won't see it until we're happy with it, and then your notes will be needed, because we'll need it outside. Eye. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying this all because I came from theater, and I'm used to having my own way, blah, blah, blah. I'm saying it because I think this is the best way to do it. For us, me. So, let me paraphrase, if I may. You, mm -hmm. you are telling me that in the commercial system, and excuse me if I go too far and correct me, that the writer's at the bottom of the ladder, that every layer above him, from presidents to vice presidents to marketing to executive producers to producers to all deliver notes down to what they want the guy on the bottom rung, the writer, to do. So I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Having never actually submitted myself to this process, uh, but having only heard that this is about to happen, and I have heard it from other writers, for sure. And I've even heard networks say things to writers like, don't make it too good, don't make it too funny, don't make the banter too sharp, just make it banter. That's not what we're turning in. We're turning What's in to the see, reason for that, George? They're turning in, tuning in to see beautiful young people have sex. In uniforms, in doctor's uniforms, in police uniforms, that's what they think. They're turning in to, tuning in to look at beautiful young people. That's basically it. That's all they want. Now... I'm the whole, the, it only takes one or two people to change this whole thing, you know, to go like, well, I'd like to see something better. Oh, I just saw this show on BBC, and I think we can do that. But I'm constantly watching British shows in particular saying, and I look at the faces, I say, you would never make it on North American television. They would never put that face, especially women, the real woman's face, they would never put that face on North American television. It just, it, and yet, it's so engaging when you see real people doing that stuff, you know. And, uh, and then you go, that's how far we got to go. 
I mean, uh, when we st I started doing TV, I mean, and I was working with really great crews, but a lot of them, though, had only done American stuff. And the time I had to spend telling the makeup and hair people to leave the women alone, you know, get your hands off them, they look fine, you know, to, to the gussing, the fussing, the messing, the everything. Yeah, always, <laughs> you know, too much light in their hair. And, uh, I mean, I remember saying, and, um, in this is wonderful, and even uh, you know, uh, uh, Kara Pivko was the lead, and a really wonderful-looking woman. And uh, but we had a couple of other really great-looking women in the show. They're all great-looking to me, and they were always trying to ugly them up because they didn't want them to look better than Kara. I said, "What? She doesn't care. It's ridiculous. <laughs> what are you doing? There's a thing where the lead has to look better. Not much that she can have to act better. She actually has to look better. So that's all wrong, right? It's all corrupt and wrong and ugly." And it's just the opposite of how I think actors should be treated. But what do we do, George? Because that's the road that we're being shot down. Well, we got to fight back. Speed. You got to get people. Back? You got to get producers. These producers to fight back. They're so afraid of anything. You know, they're so. So it is fear. Yeah, it's totally fre fear. You know, and yet, this, and yet they're needed unless the CRTC totally turns its back on Canadian work and says we don't give a shit if you do it or not. If they got someone there and says you have to do this stuff, your license fee says you have to do this, then the producers can rise up and say yes. Yes, <laughs> let's start doing some stuff. Stop asking us to just do this stuff. But yes. because there are enough, <laughs> my Asian just come whores. But <laughs> like there are enough people who will do anything for money at any time. Uh, we'll get to the factory theater in a minute, I assume. And uh, you, they'll have no trouble getting some producers. But if the majority of people said, you know, we want to try, I heard. Um, I guess I can name specific things. I heard uh, I don't hear much that excites me in, in Canadian television, but I heard that there's some guys, some good writers, some good producers are doing, going to do a show called Borealis. I don't know if you heard about that. It was for sci-fi. CBC or CTV? Or? It was a CTV space for space or space network. Yeah. Now here's what the idea was. It's the North. It's the Arctic in the future, and it's sort of like a Deadwood in the future. It's open territory. It's because of global warming. It's and it's still kind of the last last frontier and they're up there and everyone's fighting over it. They're fighting over the mineral rights. It's like a, a <coughs> settlement. The Americans are there, the Russians are there. It's, it sounds great to me because it it's actually going to happen, you know? That's actually going to happen. It's going to be where all these cultures come together fighting for all this stuff up there. And they did this thing apparently and uh, they did a pilot and, and, uh, and they're not going to do the series, you know? Because they decided at the last minute that space is going to be skewed towards women. This guy, you know, all of a sudden women are big sci-fi fans, for whatever that means, but even if they are... Oh, you mean as an audience? As, as an consumer, audience, yeah. Right. So even if they were, it doesn't mean they wouldn't find this interesting. It's just, just interesting. So some marketing person put someone in that guy's head at the top, and they, so they just killed it. And it's great. You know, I saw, I saw it, I saw it because I know the producer, I saw it, and it's really good. And who were the writers, do you think? Andrew Bears and Andrew's one and Andrew. There are two Andrews, I think. Anyway, the writing's really good. The acting's really good. It's a terrific story, and it's, we're not going to see it. Oh, I think so they might put the movie on. But